Ross Berry's been exhibiting with Reed for about 15 years. Um, we, we first started out trying to get exposure because our product is the sort of product that needed to be touched. Yeah, the gift and uh, trade shows take up around about 60 to 70 percent of our uh, marketing budget for the year. Uh, but at this stage, you know, there isn't, uh, we haven't come across any other better avenue for marketing our product. Hello, my name is Karen. I'm from Sew and Tell at Berry. Um, we sell a lot of embroidery supplies and we have got gift lines. We also manufacture some of our own products. So I come to the show to meet the suppliers and looking for new products and really things that you can't get out of the catalogue. We try to look at them here at the show. We find that the gift fairs are so, so important to us that our advertising promotional budget for all fairs throughout Australia would be up around the 80% of our total budget put aside for promoting and advertising both our new product range and our company Barack International. The fairs have been really important in building our customer base. Uh, in the beginning when I first started we were really just um, focusing on New South Wales and through the Reed Fairs we've had customers as far as Mount Isa, um, up to the top Cairns, um, basically throughout Australia and also we've had some contacts from overseas. I find this fair is slightly a little bit more cosmopolitan. The stands are slightly larger and the lighting is very good. I just find that's more inspiring for buying product. Reed Gift Fair has fantastic venues. The venues that they have, e.g. Darling Harbour, which is very close to the city, works very well for us. It is five halls of fantastic ranges of merchandise. And my company is in amongst it. And because of that, because of the push that Reeds do with their advertising, it then gives us the opportunity to see as many retailers as we possibly can. And that's what we need. Don't start planning your trade fair a week before the gift fair. You need to plan two, three months out. You've got to look at it from the other side that someone's going to walk across your stand and they've got to find it interesting. If they don't find it interesting or they don't see a product there, they're not going to buy from you and you're really throwing your money out the window. For small business and anyone who hasn't exhibited before, I would uh, definitely recommend that uh, exhibiting at, at the gift trade shows is, is probably the singularly most powerful way of promoting your product. Um, getting to know your customer base, meeting people face to face, getting other contacts. Uh, you know, it's, as I've said, it's, it's what we base all our, our yearly advertising, our product launches around. Ten years time, I'm still only going to have four kids but I'll have a, a, a new stand and I'll have new product because uh, I know what my customer's looking for, at least I think I know what my customer's looking for, but most importantly, um, I'll still be in the trade fair because that is, that is the place where I can reach my, my uh, target audience and my target customers, and they keep coming back, so so do I.